you're offered a job and this job includes stock options. Should you think they're worth something or should you think they're worth nothing? If the company turns out to be Google, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, probably they're worth something. If the company turns out to be in the 99.9999999% of other companies, they're likely, they're likely worth nothing. In Europe, we additionally have the problem that we have not the best laws to actually allocate shares to employees. Unless you're the founding member, it is very hard to really give you a real stake in the company. And what most companies do, they just give you phantom options, that's that. Yet, most employees are actually not being told the total number of shares outstanding. They're just being told, okay, you get 2000 shares, which is nonsensical because if you do not know the total shares outstanding and you do not know the valuation of the company, this information is totally worthless. And if you do know the valuation, you have to ask, is this like a fantasy valuation of the founder? Or is this evaluation of the investor or, or some auditor or somebody who is kind of a third party and can be trusted with a sort of neutral view? And even then, this is obviously very likely a optimistic view on things because investors think that they invest like in hundreds of companies and 1% makes it big and all the others fail. So even with, with a realistic valuation, one could argue that, yeah, stock options in startups are kind of worthless, worthless, especially in Europe. On the other hand, it is kind of nicer to work with people that are motivated by a bigger goal, by a future outcome, and not just by, okay, I get every month like thousands of dollars or something, and that's it. So it does have like a little bit the benefit of, okay, we work together, towards like a bigger long-term goal. Also, it shows that the founders are willing to share with employees, well, the risk and the reward. So it can have like this kind of additional benefit of, okay, this is a good company culture. In, at the end of the day, shares might be worth something and you might get something when the company is sold or even goes public. So it is an interesting vehicle to make employees participant in the success and failure of company. Most of the time, you should likely more focus on the base salary that, because that is your opportunity cost. I mean, you could go and work for a traditional company where you don't get shares and this is what you would be making. And with this money, you can buy real things. You can do whatever you want and you're less tied to the company. You can leave any time. So even with big tech companies, how we how people call them, where stocks are actually stocks on the stock market and they're vesting, it's kind of a trick to, of course, keep you longer at the company. Because if you leave and the stocks didn't vest, then mm, that kind of is then very hard to do. If you have like lots of stocks to vest and then you have some other super good opportunity that would be actually worth to consider, but yeah, you have this amazing shares that will last for sure. That kind of is sort of the definition of golden handcuff. So you have to look at your specific situation, what it means to you, what cash means to you, what options mean to you. And if you really, really looked at what, what's the worth of those options, not the like wishful thinking worth of options. So really make your due diligence because you're investing your time and you're giving up other opportunities and have a good day.